I'm coming into the NOLA room here, CES 2014. Carl from NOLA, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year too, and Greg from United Home Audio, how are you? Great, Peter, thanks. Carl, you have a production model of a prototype loudspeaker we saw last year that won a Gold Sound Award. So this we're uh, very excited about seeing what it looks like here. This is the actual production uh, version of the Concert Grand Reference Gold. It has several um, finishing touches that we didn't have last year, and this is actually what we are shipping. <laughs> For one, we have the new uh, ribbon, True Ribbon Super Tweeter, which extends the response out to 100 kilohertz. And <clears throat> Gold technology uh, bass drivers, these four small bass drivers go down to 40 hertz. The reason that they're so small is to provide high speed. Seven grams moving mass uh, is very quick for a bass driver. Mm -hmm. uh, pole pieces we found by plating them with uh, soft metal such as 24 karat gold, it damps copper ringing and so we reduce the coloration to uh, inaudible levels. Uh, in addition, these bass drivers are driven by very expensive, massive alnico ring magnets uh, instead of conventional ceramic ferrite magnets. This is a much more expensive way to go, but it's a much better way to go. Um, given the uh, goals for this loudspeaker, uh, this is the best speaker we make in the two-piece format, and its capability exceeds um, what most think would be possible. Um, uh, that's one of the reasons. Uh, below, the, below the woofers, we have two 12-inch uh, high-speed subwoofers, uh, sustained response down to 18 hertz. This entire speaker, which is a five-way system, is all passive, driven by one amplifier. Okay. 91 dB, 8 ohms, which means we get to use a 75-watt stereo amp at the show, mm -hmm. and it can play quite loud with that. Above the woofers, we have four line source open baffle dipole mm -hmm. alico magnet mid-ranges. And from about 1500 hertz up, we have a 12 inch true ribbon tweeter driven by a 25 pound neodymium magnet. That's extended in dispersion and response by the 100 kilohertz super tweeter, also mm -hmm. true ribbon. Mm -hmm. So there's been um, really no effort or cost spared in making a two piece system that covers the full range, both dynamically and frequency wise, uh, with extremely low distortion. And we've gotten many comments at the show at the ease that mm -hmm. this speaker provides even at the highest levels, mm -hmm. which is what we were after. Well, outstanding. We're going to have a listening session following this a little uh, walkthrough. Uh, thank you very much for describing a, what, the new flagship uh, two chassis, two chassis, two flagship. chassis flagship. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Carl from NOLA. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank okay. you for listening. Okay. And over here, Greg Barron from United Home Audio. Greg has been uh, very busy. I understand there's a new power supply for the decks available this year. Uh, tell us about what's uh, what's hot at United Home Audio. Well, what's new uh, this year is, uh, first of all, the new Phase 11S deck. Uh, Peter Moncrief worked for almost a year on the capacitors for the deck. Did a great job on them. Um, in addition to that, it's powered by the outboard power supply, OPS. That's why we call it the OPS deck. You can get an outboard power supply for any of the uh, United Home Audio decks. They start at 8900 and go up from there. In the uh, That's for the deck, not the power supply, right? That's this deck started 8900. Eight right? The power supply is 4000. Okay. On you can incorporate it into any deck. What we do is we take out the big iron power transformer that's inside the deck and we go to two uh, toroidal power transformers, hand monitored, uh, special made, not off the shelf, uh, super massive power supplies, one to run the motors on the tape deck, okay. the other runs the dual mono preamps, okay. and it's a considerably larger, considerably more robust, and considerably better power supply than we had in the regular phase 11. Mm -hmm. um, Cost no object as usual, and the chassis uh, allows us to have a nice separation between the two uh, transformers. The chassis is bolstered with three quarter inch MDF bolt bolted to the bottom of the chassis, as well as to the top. On the rear is another special plate that the connectors are bolted to. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for the umbilical, we use uh, shielded uh, synergistic research wire, as well as Cardis wire, going to the, the dual mono preamps. 
and uh, it offers a limitless, uh, effortless um, power to the deck, and you can hear it. Congratulations on the new product uh, here for uh, 2014. Thanks, Peter. Okay.